and welcome to your JC TV Daily News Update. I'm Lyndon Schmidt. In local news, floodwaters receded months ago, but is it safe to rebuild? This is the question on flood victims' minds after record spring flooding in Stutzman and Lamar counties. Although it's safe to return to their homes, residents of the surrounding area of Jamestown are weary of doing so after many had to abandon their homes and relocate to higher ground, and in some cases, camping trailers. Today, at least three households in the small town of Adrian, about 30 miles southeast of Jamestown, remain without a permanent residence. And those who have returned aren't exactly sure if it's safe to do so. Part of the problem lies in the fact that flood victims are still unaware of what kind of assistance they qualify for, if any at all. Lamar County's answer comes in the Property Acquisition Program. Under this, the at least 30 at-risk homes in the area will have the option of selling their homes, relocating them, or having them demolished altogether. According to the Jamestown Sun, about a dozen homeowners have expressed uh, interest in the area. If a homeowner in the area qualifies for the program, officials say FEMA would pay 75%, while the state would pay 10%, leaving the owner with 15% of the original cost. <clears throat> for more information on the subject, questions are being directed to Lamar County Emergency Manager Sherry Gartner at 701-883-5301, extension 236. The deadline to apply stands at September 23rd. In campus news tomorrow night, Dr. Wallentine and Catherine Noon will be presenting an evening of music theater. After performing at NDSU last week, the baritone and soprano are taking over Denault Auditorium at 7.30 for your personal music enjoyment. They will be accompanied by pianist Pamela Burkhart and Andrew Froelich. Everyone is welcome and you don't need a ticket, so head over to Ryland Friday and enjoy some music. One of the finer points in life presented by Jamestown's very own. Now for your weather, this evening will hit a low of 57 degrees with the help of late thunderstorms. Winds will be about 20 miles per hour with an 80% chance of precipitation. And if you haven't noticed, we're getting less and less sunlight as we get deeper into the fall season. Sunset tonight will creep all the way down to 7.56 p.m. Those thunderstorms are going to linger until the morning where we could get some showers. The high should only get up to 64 degrees with 15 mile per hour winds. And the forecast for Jimmy Football's home opener Saturday will be partly cloudy and in the 70s. So that's shaping up to be a beautiful day not only for the fans but for the football team who's looking for their first win of the season. And that leads us to Jimmy Sports. The men's and women's golf teams traveled to compete in the Bismarck State College Invitational at the Hawk Tree Golf Course earlier today. We'll try to get you the results of that meet by tomorrow's broadcast, so sit tight for those. Both teams are coming off a solid showing at the Jimmy Open last Wednesday, where the women came away in third and the men finished fifth. Senior Michael Nagosik stands as the only outgoing player on the team and first-year head coach Ryan Thompson said he likes what he's seen out of his team so far. They will then head to Fargo Sunday and Monday to play in the Valley City Invitational. And most of JC's fall sports will be on the road Friday as cross-country journeys to Minnesota to run in the Bemidji State Invitational in their season opener. The women's squad is currently ranked 20th in the country and head coach Jim Clark says he likes what he sees out of his ladies so far. They're anxious to run this weekend. Women's soccer will tag along to Bemidji as well. They'll be looking for their first win of the season as they currently have a record of 0-5-1. After returning from a short jaunt to California last weekend, Jimmy Volleyball will head down to Lamoni, Iowa to play in the Graceland Invitational. They'll be looking to get over the 500 mark as they currently have a record of 5-5. Five and five. Well, that's it for the broadcast. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in tonight. This has been Lyndon Schmidt with your JCTV Daily News Update, connecting the campus with the community.